What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sun City Outdoors. In today's video, um, we're actually heading up, we're in California, we're heading up towards Bishop. And all the way up there, there's a bunch of little ponds just like this one. So we're gonna be hitting most of them up and just trying to catch some bass or anything we can out of them, really bluegill, bass, carp. So we're just gonna go ahead and explore a little bit. And we're going up towards like a little family camping trip kind of deal, but this should be fun. So let's see what happens. Welcome to Fishing. Hunting. And the great outdoors. You gonna throw a worm on your hook? Yeah, I'm gonna throw a worm because we saw some bluegill. So we might as well just try getting them. And we know the best bait for bluegill is obviously a worm. We like using night crawlers. Yeah, you just pinch about maybe like an inch or two off. Just pinch it like that. You're gonna line it like that. And you're just gonna run it along your hook. I mean, you can use, you can leave a little piece dangling sometimes to get the fish interested. So you think that rig will work with the drop shot? Yeah, I think it'll work. They usually bite anything that contains a worm. All right, so we're out here hitting these little ponds. They're out in the middle of nowhere in central Cali. And um, look at those mountains. Those mountains are all full of, full of snow. And it's 80 degrees today, so all that water is running down here and filling up these ponds. Those bluegill right here, they're in this real shallow water. And she's going to be slaying them. They're biting like crazy. Hey, there's a bunch of carp over there. Yeah, they're in that real shallow water around the corner. Down the corner. Like that. Got him. What did I tell you? That was quick. What do you think? He's too small or should we eat him? I don't know if I want to keep him. He's kind of small. Like you won't get much meal. All right. Going back in right there. Nice. He was a little palm size. He wasn't real big. He wasn't hand size. And she's gonna be slaying them. There was some bullfrogs back there, Dad. There was? Yeah, some bullfrogs. Yeah, all these little fish and, and there's big carp that weave in and in and out of these weeds. I don't mess with spiders. Hey, there's spiders everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm there's webs about. falling all over us. I know, because he was like Go ahead. on the pool. Over here. Look, you see his web right here? Cast it over there, I just saw a bass. Oh, there, how far out? Just like a foot? Yeah, just go ahead and cast out that way. Oh, dang, what the heck? Um, we had to change what we were using because they weren't biting with the weight. So we just took the weight off, just put a hook with the worm on it. So you think that this with just the worm on it is going to get him? Yeah. All right, let's you, try it. You don't even cast it, you just... Don't even cast it, just dip it. A little bit further. Yep. Wow. Like Less that. than a second. <laughs> Just like that, you got a fish. <laughs> that still, that still ain't big enough to eat, huh? Oh man. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get him back in the water. I'll catch him before you get down back. Yeah, he'll survive. These guys, they live through anything. You gotta make a I let it splash. They like hearing that splash. There you go. There it is. Got him. See that splash? When they hear that splash, they come out of the weeds. You can probably catch a hundred out of here if you wanted. They're all small though. All right, nice job. What's that, like five? Five or six? Yeah. That was on my right, Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Go ahead and drop. Last See if one. I can get it close up. Go ahead. Look at it. Drop. Where? Right there. They were going to it. Right there, there they go. Got another one. Oh, he spit it. Right there. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Shake it. All right, we're trying a new spot now. The last spot, um, the only person catching was Julian. 
these and worms. We tried for a little bit of everything, nothing really was biting, but we're gonna fish off this bridge. We've been here before, and my Uncle Richie right there caught some nice smallies off of it, so should be pretty good again, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Richie on the first yeah, cast. On that side. Richie on the first cast just missed a big bass. Hey, I hope you have thick line. How are you gonna reel them up? <laughs> you got lucky last year. Yeah, so this is a little spot we found. It's just loaded with bass. And uh, it's probably three feet deep. The water's... Oh, nice one. Richie. Richie, go, go. Oh, my goodness. Richie hooks up. Can he lift them? 20 feet up. Got them. <laughs> Off the chatter? Yeah, chatter bait. He got him off the old chatter. Look at his tail. Hold him up. Let me see his tail right now. What is that? Stay. Look at that. Stick. That's that's crazy. It's a pretty nice one. I'll let it go over here. Beautiful. And he's free. Let's go. This place is loaded. Let's go, waiter. Get on. Is it? Richie just had another bite. Yeah, moving bait would I don't even have a pole set up. Oh, that guy's fishing over there. It is, huh? We just gave away the good spot. He just saw Richie reel in. By that bush, I heard one just before I missed that one. To show you how to fish now. I just hooked on this bad boy. Let's go get one. You changing too? Yep, I'm changing. Oh, you're putting on a jig? We don't have any like black trailers or anything, so I'm just gonna fish with this one. All right, so we switched up our stuff. We know there's bass there now. Richie just hooked up. So, time to catch one. Let me go catch one real quick. You want to catch one, Jew, or are you good? That boy loves soccer. Everywhere we stop, he pulls out that soccer ball. Yeah. Hey, got a nice one. Sword. They're biting. They're biting moving baits right now. Oh, are you down there, Rich? Yeah. Can you get there or no? Nah, I got No, I got 12. I got it. Oh, Juju. Look at that, baby. They're biting moving baits right now, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm See, and you didn't want to take the crankbait rod and play. Yeah, that's bigger than the one I had. It's a baby. It's nice. Uh, oh. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't want a dang hook in my... I don't want a hook in my finger. It's a good one and a half, two pounder. Like the bright colors. They want some moving baits right oh, now. Oh man, he looks good too. You know, he Real ate, ate that up pretty good. Yeah, that guy's over there looking. Our secret spot, we hit it once a year. Nice one. That's a nice little one and a half pounder. All right, I'm gonna go let this guy go. They're biting moving baits right now. I'm gonna have to tie them up. I guarantee you a square bill would do good. Man, that was a beauty. Let's get up there and get some more. All right, we're out of here. We're moving on to the last spot before we hit the camp. Everybody keeps calling us because they're waiting on us. We're yeah, and uh, caught a bunch of bass, caught a bunch of bluegill. Gonna hit the last spot up. This is what happens when you get too close to the edge. <laughs> you go swimming with the fish. <laughs> oh, that sucks.
And these are all splinters. Here, give me a hand. Oh. <laughs>